C Sharp tutorial number two, and this is on passwords, um, how to check that and so on. So I'm just going to create a new project here, Windows Forms, and I'm just going to name it uh, Password Tut. So in this tutorial, we're going to have a text box where the user can type in the password they want it to be, and a text box where they enter the password and finally we have a button that says go and I'll show you later uh, you don't have to have it where the user can do that you can set it um, when you do uh, I mean uh, before so but uh, we're gonna start off by naming this one set pass and the enter pass to enter pass. So we're going to double click on the go to create an event handler. And below the public form one, so not in any brackets, we're going to do um, string and then we're going to type pass equals, actually we're just going to do string pass. Okay. So, and then a semicolon. So that'll make the variable pass, which is a string. Okay, so now in here, in our go button, we're going to say pass equals, and then remember um, set pass dot text, semicolon. And then we have to do um, an if statement here. So, so the way the if statements work is we have an if, and then parenthesis, and then we need the variable which is pass. Dot. Okay. So if pass equal equal. So if it's equal to, and then we need um, the. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, if pass equals, and then we need the enter pass dot text, and then we press enter. We have a left curly curly bracket, and then a right curly bracket, and we need to say we're just going to put a message box here. Message box here. Box dot show. That is correct. And then we're just going to do I'm not going to put any message box buttons or anything um, just because uh, for the sake of the video. So else, which will say if it's not this, do this. Then we have the same with the right and left. Uh, curl brackets. We're going to do message box that show, and then that is incorrect. And then we go incorrect. Okay, so this should work. What it's doing here is it's setting the variable pass to whatever the user typed in here. And it's saying if that variable which you just set is the same as this, then show that's correct. And if it's not, it'll show that is incorrect. So let's try it this way. And next I'll show you where you can enter it um, in the code itself. So I'm just going to debug here. And we're going to type in, let's say, hello. And I'm just going to type in random letters. And it says that is incorrect. So now let's type in hello. That is correct. OK. So now you're saying, oh, but I want that to be like password so they can't see it. And then you just come down here um, to use sister, system password character. Change that to true. Go down here, use system password character to true. That'll look as a password. 
So what if you don't want the user to set their password and you just want to set it yourself? So I'm going to delete the set pass and I'm just going to change this if equals if the pass equals I'm going to say if my password so if what the user typed in is equal to the text my password then it's going to do the incorrect or correct so I'm going to debug here just uh, press F5 so we know that the password is my password I typed in ASDF ASDF random incorrect now if I type in my password that is correct alright so after this you, if you want you can also do um, enter pass dot text equals nothing and that'll just clear it um, so it'll just look a little bit nicer that is basically the end of this video if you have any comments or questions or video requests or anything um, feel free to comment below and comments are always welcome so thank you very much for watching